this FAQ, we talk all about eating out. Many of you have a healthier diet now and you get invited by old friends to have dinner and drinks with them and you don't know what they're gonna do. So here's some tips for you. Basically, you can eat out anywhere. Your first step is to ask where they're having dinner. If you have some input, then you can choose a place where you know you're gonna have better options. But if they've already chosen a place, get the name and go online and look at their menu. It's good to do your research before you go. You may be thinking a chain restaurant is an awful place to go, but actually a lot of chain restaurants these days have special menus for vegetarian and vegan options. I went online and looked at the Chili's menu and they had a vegetarian one that you could print out with all of the vegetarian choices. Sure, those aren't vegan, but you can look at this to get a better idea of what kind of healthy options they have available. I went into a Jason's Deli and they had a notebook that had all of the ingredients for every single menu item. So it was really easy for me to choose something. If you look at the menu and you have no idea what you're gonna do and you can't really figure out what kind of meal you could make for yourself, you can always call and talk to the manager. Tell them that you're vegan and explain what that means because a lot of places don't know and see if they'll be able to accommodate you with a special meal. To make a complete meal, I like to have a grain and a vegetable and some sort of protein. This might not be possible though when you go out to eat. So you wanna ask, is there butter or chicken stock in the grains? Is there eggs or honey or dairy in the bread? Can they saute some vegetables for you in oil or broth instead of butter? The protein is where it gets a little tricky because a lot of places have lard or chicken stock or actual meat in their beans. Most places have canned beans on hand, so they should have no problem warming up some beans for you with some spices so that you can have a protein. So just remember, it's only one meal. So if you can't get something really awesome, it's not that big of a deal because you really wanna just spend time with your friends, right? If you go to Asian restaurants, they always have tofu. So you can get tofu, steamed or fried. Really have to be careful about sauces at Asian restaurants because oftentimes they have honey or MSG or they use chicken or fish stock or fish flakes. You have to know the right questions to ask and you have to be able to inspect the menu to see if you can come up with some sort of meal. If your friends ask what you're in the mood for and they let you help choose a place, the best places for vegetarian and vegan food are ethnic places like Mexican, Mediterranean, any kind of Asian food like Japanese, Thai, Vietnamese, Chinese, and also even Italian you can get away with. But even American places and chain places, you can get a really good meal that will meet your dietary requirements. So let's talk about specific types of restaurants and the questions that you need to ask your server. If you're gonna to go to a Mexican food restaurant, you wanna make sure and ask, is there chicken stock in the rice? Are there eggs or dairy in the tortillas? Is there lard or any animal foods in the beans? Oftentimes, places will put sour cream in their guacamole. So you wanna make sure and ask, is there dairy in the guacamole? Another thing with Mexican restaurants is they put cheese garnished on everything. So you wanna make sure and tell the server that you do not want any cheese on anything because they'll just sprinkle it on without even thinking. Another great thing you can do at Mexican restaurants is have them make you veggie fajitas. Asian restaurants are always a good choice because they have lots of different vegetables, most of them have tofu, and even some of them have brown rice. Most Asian places even have vegetarian vegetable sections but you always have to ask about the sauces. For American and Italian type restaurants, you wanna make sure and ask about the bread. Does the bread have dairy or eggs in it? You're pretty safe with any baguette or sourdough because it's traditionally not made with any dairy foods or eggs. The things you have to watch out at those places are the dressings and the sauces. So a lot of times dressings have uh, dairy or cheese or honey, so be sure and ask about that. You can always just get oil and vinegar and they'll bring that to your table and you can sprinkle that on your salad or your vegetables. 
Once you know the right questions to ask, you can eat anywhere across the world. Don't worry about being that guy. The restaurant is there to serve you and to make you happy. So ask your server as many questions as you need to. And what I often do is I actually ask for the chef and I get the chef out there to ask them questions because the servers don't always know. But this is really good training for them so the next time somebody comes in who wants healthier vegan options, they'll know what is available on their menu. There's a great website called Happy Cow that has a list of all the vegetarian and vegan friendly restaurants and grocery stores available across the world. So be sure to take a look and see what's available in your city because you might be surprised. If you like these videos, please share them with your friends and leave in the comments below your questions for future videos. And as always, have a blissful day. Mm -hmm.